So, before we head off to Didem to finish off the last of the side quests, we need to head back to the castle real quick. Because this random lady has some secret information, and we're going to need that in a minute. It's literally just the fundamental essence of secret information. Like, not even any particular secret, it's just, you know, the, the idea of a secret. The notion of secrecy. Correct. I, I don't know what... I don't know what the fisherman that we're going to talk to is going to need with the secret to Queen Corellia's beauty routine, but we're going to hand it over. But is, is it even that secret? Is it just, like, the idea of a secret generally? Like, is it definitely that particular secret? I'll leave you to interpret that how you will. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know how that can be interpreted, period. I feel that's just like... There's nowhere else you can really go from there. There's too many. I mean, there's exactly one of them for every one of you, so, uh... Well, I mean, let's not... let's not put too much faith in that. You you remember how they performed. These were the guys that we had to do that whole gimmick with in that one... that one dungeon. Were they? Am I remembering that right? right? Yes, yep. Okay, yeah, no, they're but pretty bad. Seriously wounded, thanks to you. How are the other nations doing? Are the leaders safe? We've been attacked from well, time by a few monsters. Nothing serious. I mean, the world in general is doomed, so I don't think anybody's really safe, although, you know, for the time being. Yeah, I know. We're trying to find a way to fight back. I see. Well, good luck to you. We'll be counting on you back here and trying to hold our own. I like that they they made sure to say oh, we'll be trying to hold our own. We won't be succeeding, but you know we're gonna we're gonna try. If I don't ask you now, I may never have a chance. Hmm. What is it? See, they're all upfront about the fact that they're all gonna fail. Well, why did you leave us? The knights, I mean. You'd have made a fine head knight. Besides, you still fight as well as ever. I heard you're using your skills to face the minions of the evil god. I'm like 90% sure this so guy is using Liu's vo is Liu's voice actor. He was. Gibardi's father instructed King Ladakan in sword fighting. I can hear it. I remember you taking fencing lessons with the king as a child. You were second. Honestly, my concern is that like then, getting praise for our combat skills from these guys isn't really very much of anything. I just left. No big reason. Ah, but you see, Gibari is not just a fisherman. Oh no. He he is the son of the head knight. And in fact, he personally took fencing lessons with King Lodicon. Take care. I mean, of course, they're in our party. Nobody just gets to just stroll into our party unless there's somebody. You can count on us. You either need a tragic past or a secret run. Hey, Gibari, Better yet, a tragic a secret past. You left the night? Callus, how old are you? Me? I'm 19. I'm a JRPG protagonist. What do you expect? Listen, Callus, I'm not old enough to go into my life story with a 19-year-old. Knowing what I am and what I'm going to do should be enough for you. Sound logical? Yeah, okay. I understand. I mean, Gibari is like, what, like 30-something? Like 32, 33? So, you know, he's he's getting up there. Yeah, this is a JRPG, so he's basically dead. Like, he's basically a zombie. 
Anyway, if we were to ask around town, we would find out that the the master of the Celestial River has been sighted. And we're gonna kill it, right? Oh, we're absolutely going to go kill it. But first, we're gonna give this lady some wine. I mean, that seems entirely sensible for this context. Thanks. Okay, so we got we got, we have a secret information now, and we have a secret recipe. Okay. Yeah, so we just give this random guy the secret information, and he hands over what is ostensibly supposed to be Gibari's ultimate piece of equipment. Inside a trading. It's, uh, it's got some very big numbers on it, but it, but the cost is that it does not block any ailments. Make of that what you will. Hmm. I mean, that that seems pretty good, honestly. I, I always, I'm always a big fan of going in for the, the high-risk, big-numbers RPG strategy strategies. They're the best. I think resisting stuff is for cowards. Gibari, you're a sight for sore eyes. Please, go help Anna and Redless. So I have no idea how you're supposed to find out that this is where you're supposed to go. But uh, I guess eventually, by process of elimination, you'll come into this house and it'll be like, oh, here's the side quest. Monster, his fever hasn't broken. The doctor said Shorty may not make it if the fever doesn't break soon. I still can't get over his name being Shorty. My Shorty, he's the only family I have left in this world. I got you. Just take it easy. What about Anna and Reblis? They went to the Greater Celestial River. What? That place is dangerous. They went to gather Pekusa seaweed. Ah, I get it. That stuff is great for a fever. But doesn't anyone around here have some? Our food and medicine supplies have severely depleted in this long, drawn-out battle. I see. Should have thought of that. I mean, so yeah. The Rebels volunteered to go pick the seaweed. No, from what I heard, Anna rushed off alone. Rebels heard of this and ran off after her. I mean, okay, fascinating, but does that really matter? I should have known. Just Anna being Anna. How long have they been gone? About an hour or so. Okay, leave this to me. You look after Shorty. Hey, don't worry, okay? We'll pick up both them and the seaweed and be back in no time. Please, get um, And we're just gonna happen to kill God along the way. Well, what if instead we killed God to get the seaweed? Okay, let's head for I mean, that's also valid. I mean, I was just assuming it was going to be necessary just from the lore of narratives. Anyway, uh, Gibari tells us that the Greater Celestial River is north of here. That's uh, a load of bullshit. See, what you're actually supposed to do is go all the way back to the capital because we need to get back to the world map. Huh. I see. I, I guess north is relative. I mean, it's... It's it, it's to the north. A little bit of northern direction is necessary to reach it. But yeah.
Well, all right then. <laughs> Time to bust some heads. So I like these guys. These, these are a cute enemy type. The uh, yeah. the overgrown shrimp here have a gimmick in that they will block everything. Like no ifs, ands, or buts. They block everything you throw at them. And th and they block like. 200 physical damage with every single attack that they do. So, like, you literally can't hurt them with physical attacks. Alright. Unlike the clams, however, they actually have the courtesy to be weak to elements. So, it doesn't take much to put them down. They only have about, like, 1200 HP. But, I like it. I think that's... As far as enemy gimmicks go, that's that's a decent one. Time to collect. I mean, it's nicer than to have a crippling floor to counterbalance their enormous strength. That's like considerate mob design. That's what you're supposed to do. That's how this is supposed to work. The uh, the turtles here are a lot less interesting. Um, I didn't have any good, like, good fights with one, so I didn't bother to include it, but, uh, they have, like, a seven-hit water combo, and then a, f a finisher that inflicts headache. So, whatever. Bog standard water enemy. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that in line with some kind of trope, they're also annoyingly difficult to kill, or are they actually an exception to that? Nah, they've got, like, I don't know, 16, 15, 1600 HP? It's not that much. And I'm starting to think that you needn't have bothered. Well, that was helpful. I mean, at least we know we're in the right place. I mean, that would have been very awkward if we went, uh, literally anywhere else on the Greater Celestial River. I mean, I guess. I mean, I don't know if you- how much attention you paid to the world map, but it was pretty clearly going, like, the entire length of, like, multiple continents along the side there. Yeah. It's like a whole thing. I guess that was pretty lucky. Anna, you're okay. Yabari, you came to help. What happened? Did you get the seaweed? What are you doing up here? Oh, well, I'll be. Hey, what's up? What are you standing here for? Oh, what the blaze is that? seen anything like this. Same here. Looks like the Celestial River is flooded. We can't get seaweed in these conditions. What should we do? We have to hurry. Shorty's life is at stake here. <clears throat> Let's fish! Excuse me? What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, that's it, Anna. Let's fish! Clearly on a wavelength here. Has everyone here lost their minds? Yeah, I'm with her. Yeah, thank you, Anna, for being the voice of the audience here. If we can catch one, 
Presto. The seaweed's ours for the taking. That's how that works. What a great idea. Not bad for a knucklehead like you, Rebless. Huh. A compliment from one of my lessers. Anyway, what if, in addition to just, you know, deciding, hey, let's go fishing, we also got to get a dick-waving contest out of it, too. I mean, that seems pretty thematically on point, although I have absolutely no faith in this game to make it in any way not insufferable. I'll show you what being a man in the sky is all about. A man of the sky... I'll show you what being a real man of the sky is all about. Jesus Christ, I hate it already. We haven't even started yet. I mean, credit where it's due? Fishing by just using literal entire logs is pretty metal. Wait for one of them to take the bait. Yeah, this is true. Mm. Mm. I am a fan of the game pulling the whole narrative power move and just not having anything interesting happen. It's so quiet. I mean, clearly these guys have completely forgotten the obvious spirit of fishing. It's so calm. Hey, Anna, you know this one? Everything comes to those who... Oh, I've got one. Really? Darn. See? Those are the three things I have that you lack. Still... fit my line would have been long gone by now if it hadn't been me what seems both the fish and the sky know who's worthy of the catch i can't tell if i love or hate this shut up and fish there's the update title I mean, do they sound okay? About honor, about being a man of the sky. Precisely. Huh? What are you talking about? If it's too much for you, leave it to me. Your bones must be aching. Shut up, Sipari. Your knees are wobbly. Like, I'll say this, I can't figure out if I love or hate this, but I absolutely respect the game for pulling this kind of a power move on us. Like, one of their writers obviously believes in something. Well, all right then. That, that oar, it must be that oar. Then this must be the master of the greater celestial river. Stay back, you two. You better leave this to us. Everyone ready? And I feel like it would have been weirdly appropriate for Rebelus to be helping us in the fight, although I understand that's kind of beyond the game's capabilities. 
Yeah, that's not really something this game could do. Although it would be. It, I agree that it would be a nice touch. It's kind of a little thematic pratfall there. Oh well. Like I said, I can vaguely respect that, that whole whatever the fuck that was. Anyway, yeah, the, uh, the Master of the Celestial River is... I mean, it's it's a bog, it's another bog standard water type enemy, very weak to fire. He's got two attacks. The uh, the first is that he will spend two turns attempting to poison you, which is eh, whatever. Moderate annoyance. He is uh, substantially more dangerous when he chooses to actually try and fight you. I mean, I could believe it. But uh, we're not going to be seeing a lot of that either, to be honest. I mean, I'll, I'll, I will grant that I absolutely would have equipped the thing with the lots of numbers and, and the no resistance, so... Maybe I wouldn't be as happy with that. Yeah, so, uh, so when he does actually deign to attack you, uh, you're gonna get hit for about five, five to six water hits, and an extremely fun toy in Frost, is it, it's called, it's called like Frost something? It does like 1800 damage. It is not fun. This one. Yes, this. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't want to be on the wrong end of this one. Good times. Good times. And Frozen. Lovely. I mean, I guess that's massively to be expected. But still. Very good times. Yeah, so that's... He's only got one real trick up his sleeve. It's a pretty good trick, though. I'm a huge fan of just the, the, the visual comedy of him just being battered back into the water and then just showing back up again. I mean, it's kind of a goofy animation, but I feel like it works in context. Although, admittedly, for reasons not entirely intended, probably. Is that a unique battle shout for this fight? Oh, no. No, he does that a lot. I can't... I, I don't remember. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention before. I mean, we, well, we don't use Gibari a lot either, so... Oh yeah, there is that. Well done. Look, Anna. Take a look at his mouth. That's it. Takusa Seaweed. Yeah, this seems healthy. Gibari. So, the rumors were true. That you were a knight of some standing. That was ages ago. I see. But you're not bad as a fisherman. Reblis. Can you believe it? A man who is good at two things? But good enough. Inconceivable. <laughs> give me a break, will ya? <laughs> you give me a break, Gibari. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why won't they stop? Let's just leave them here.
I feel like this whole scene is just an attempt to subtweet Final Fantasy X's voice director. <laughs> oh, don't you start. I mean, Thank you all so much. I, I don't think that this game has any room to subtweet any other game's voice director. It was our I mean, sure, but when you're right, you're right. So much to us. Well, you know, I feel it's my duty to help our fellow villagers when they're in need. Oh, give me a break. You just went after Anna. Did you say something? Maybe. Anyway, we should be getting back. The village looks like it's doing fine. And this is no time for us to be lounging around. Didn't we literally open this side quest by like a bunch of monsters attacking the village and all the knights going, we're gonna try to hold them back, but we really can't. What what happened to all that? Catch. Take it. Are you sure you want to part with this? It's fine. You need the best gear available if you ever want to beat me. I mean, in a fight, maybe, but like it's been pretty firmly established that the only thing in which you're actually competing is fishing. So. uh... Right then, courtesy of Sir Revelus. Thanks, buddy. Well, it's time to get moving. Gibari, be careful, okay? Don't get yourself killed out there. Well, we now never have to see Reblis again. I can't lie. That was incredibly dumb, but I kind of love it. Like, I, d I don't know if it's like doing the so bad it's good thing, or if that actually was just unironically good if they just really earnestly went for it, but like, man, I love it. 